And I was just over at Tri-City over there trying to get a test ride of an R7 and they don't got they don't got any for test ride unless you're buying it. And it seems nowhere has any R7s to be able to be test ridden. Kind of sucks. Yes. I definitely need gas. How much is gas? Oh my gosh, three fifty nine for unleaded. Golly. They come and go. Man, that is expensive. Premium is going to definitely way more than that. Let's see how much premium is. Gah, 424. Alright, I will be right back. Nice. Split window too. That's sweet. What year is this? 56. 56? Nice. I like it. I want to get one someday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're a lot of fun. Ooh, it sounds good too. Man, that F100 is nice. Oh my gosh, almost 17 bucks to fill this up. I miss the good old days when it was like, I don't know, $12? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go out this way, see where this road goes. We are back. It is a hot one today, you guys. Or maybe we will. we'll just get lost here. <laughs> Alright, I know there, there's a car show or something going on. Nothing too interesting, it looks like. Alright, this is not the way I wanted to go. <laughs> I'm going to use this thing to turn around. Sounds good. Alright you guys, well, <laughs> the point of this video is to tell you that the Zero is broken. <laughs> um, it is nothing that I did. Um, it is just having some kind of issue where it is not charging and it is not holding a charge for some reason. Um, so it's been about two weeks now at the time of this recording um, and it is at the dealership. Um, they're looking at it. Uh, they needed to get a part overnighted to them from Zero um, and they should have gotten that this past Friday. Uh, but the part isn't even for the bike. It's to, something to allow them to connect to some part of the bike. I'm not sure. Um, so I have, <laughs> on that bike, I have almost 6,000 miles on it already this year. And uh, so the issue that it's having, it is not charging and it is not keeping a charge. And little uh, indicator light that is on the dash, uh, it was blinking, it blinks twice and then five times. Either that or it's the other way around, I can't remember. Uh, but that was giving you the error, error code. one's nice too so normally I will uh, I'll use it all day and then plug it in at night 
uh, whenever I plug it in it's normally between 25 and 30 percent um, and then I'll wake up to a full charge in the morning uh, but the last time I rode it um, I woke up in the morning and it stops charging at 64 percent so I was like oh that's not good so I grabbed the cable that um, that I used to charge it and I was like alright I'll just charge it at work I'll bring it inside somehow and charge it at work so that's what I did I made it to work and I think it was on 28% I was like alright that, that's that's uh, not too bad I'll just charge it while I'm here brought it into our warehouse and uh, so plugged it in at the warehouse and it charged a little bit it was there for pretty much all day I checked on it a couple times throughout the day and it would not get over 32% charge so <laughs> that kind of sucked um, so I, was, I, <laughs> I let my girlfriend know I was like hey uh, you might have to <laughs> rescue me here the bike didn't charge and it's not charging past a certain point so it definitely <laughs> It potentially will die on my way home or actually or bringing it to the dealership it might die on the way there so it did not charge all day um, after work I was riding riding home and unfortunately most of my ride home is on the highway so that eats up your power faster than city riding um, Leaving work at 32% battery is a little bit of a stressful feeling uh, when normally it takes about 35% to get home. I think you guys can see where this story is going. Uh, so anyway, I decided I would take it to the dealerships and that is, since that is closer than going all the way to my house. Um, told my girlfriend to meet me there and that way she can at least give me a ride home from the dealership. And I mean, the. The reason I took it to the dealership is if the bike won't charge anyway it does me no good having it in my garage so I may as well just have it at the dealership that way they can work on it um, when they get a chance and they've been actually I guess super busy at the dealership um, so they are just now getting to work on it so far they have one hour of labor into it um, and they're talking with zero back and forth trying to get whatever the issue is resolved so somehow I have the 3.6 kilowatt one and I have the extra 3.6 battery. Somehow, the batteries are not charging at the same rate. Um, and that is not good. It, uh, once one battery gets too far charged ahead of the other battery, uh, the bike doesn't like it and it won't let you charge anymore and it won't keep a charge. So, on my ride home, I got to one block away and 4% battery left and the bike just stopped it wouldn't go anywhere um, it wouldn't accelerate at all it wouldn't um, it wouldn't do anything the bike just died the LCD display was still on but um, and it displayed 4% charge on there so uh, I had to, I was one block away from the dealership luckily uh, so I just had to <laughs> the dealership I was going this way the dealership was on that side so I luckily had to just cross the crosswalk with the bike push it there and then push it along the road to the dealership um, got there let the guys know what was going on they told me they were pretty busy and uh, likely wouldn't get to it for a little bit so the bike has been there for two weeks now and uh, hopefully it won't be much longer because I missed that bike um, so I've been riding this bike in its place which is a fun bike don't get me wrong but I put a ton of miles on it I put 900 miles on it in the last two weeks so yeah that's the issue that it's having uh, hopefully they can get it resolved if not they will get me new batteries it's still completely under warranty um, I'll get some brand new batteries for it because those batteries have a five-year warranty it kind of sucks because that bike is such a good commuter bike like you're in an upright position the long travel suspension like soaks up all the bumps perfectly 
Uh, this bike you're leaned over and the suspension is definitely sporty, uh, sporty suspension so you feel every bump in the road. The Harley is not a bad commuter bike. It sucks a little bit on the highway. Um, you get blown all over the place past like 70 miles an hour. But that bike is due for its first service and I haven't taken it in yet so it's due for its thousand mile service. Um, I'll make a separate separate video on that but that's why I rode that one for a little bit until it got that to that thousand mile mark um, and then I stopped riding that so I've just been primarily riding this bike gas is still way too expensive to be driving my truck so there you guys go hopefully by the time this video comes out um, I will have the zero back uh, it's currently the time of this recording is beginning of September so hopefully by the time this video comes out we'll have the zero back and we'll be riding it again just in time to finish up the riding season luckily though the bike the zero is still under warranty and uh, all the work should be free even if I need new batteries or anything um, everything should be free so that's why you guys haven't seen the zero <laughs> on the channel in a little bit um, I had a little bit of an issue but uh, not too bad <laughs> It should be fixable. Anyway guys, that's pretty much all I got for you. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let me comment, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had a zero bike that's had that issue before and what they did to resolve it because the dealership that is the, uh, the zero dealership around here, um, they're primarily not zero, they're primarily KTM. Um, they're extremely nice, extremely easy to work with and stuff. They just don't quite know what they're doing and they're the only zero dealership around here. So that's my only choice to take it to unless I want to go to Denver or Colorado Springs. Um, if you guys really enjoyed today's video, share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Later.